how do we go from a text message photo of a logo or sign into Fusion 360, getting it vectorized and getting Plasma G code to output to our Torchmate? Let's show you how. Welcome to another Fusion Friday. Uh, so this is a buddy. He did me a favor and uh, I said, hey, how can I repay? And we started talking and he wanted to have a sign made. So I said, send me a picture and, and he sent me, and this is totally typical. You can see the sort of flash burn here and it got high contrast, but still um, there's some work to do. So there's two ways to do this. The John Saunders from, you know, three or four years ago that was a bootstrapper would have spent a lot of time in a free software called Inkscape, which will take raster images or just static images like this and convert them into vector which is the sort of CAD type data you need for toolpaths um, but and we'll show you how to do that here in a minute but here's how I do it nowadays which is fiverr.com usually it's five bucks sometimes five bucks they only send you certain files and it's ten bucks to get the DXF but to me this is a no-brainer ten bucks gets me a professional who goes through and in this case I think they probably even did some some shifting uh, there's a little bit of an angle to this and they got it kind of flattened out so this was a no-brainer so if you go to Fiverr and you just type what like raster to vector or vectorized logo. Lots of options there, usually really fast turnaround. There's some upselling things, so it's not hard to spend 10, 15, 20 bucks sometimes, but poke around, and that gives us the DXF. I'll come back to showing that, how we import that here in a second. The problem with Inkscape, and Inkscape is great software, it's free, is that, and I'll drag in the file here, you just, you don't have enough Actually, I can show you here when we start to do it. So what you do is you click on the thing and you go to path, I think it's trace bitmap. And there's a lot of settings here you can play with. Here's a card in the top right corner to some a good Inkscape tutorial video that's much more detailed. But you can adjust the steps and colors and so forth. But at the end of the day, I, I spend a few minutes thinking it would be good to show you how to do it here. And I just realized, you know what? It, Fiverr is the better option, really. Inkscape is great if you want to take something like, in this case, a piece of clip art, which, you know, who the hell uses clip art? But perfect contrast, uh, all black image, object or path sorry trace bitmap you can basically just click ok doesn't look like anything happened but if you take a look one of these is I forget which one actually um, I think it's this one here and now what I could do is file save as and you'll see that DXF is an option which means I can actually import this into fusion as a cat file which is pretty cool I went to upload, I drug the DXF file over here, and here it is. So let's double click it and open it. I want an editable sketch, which I don't have, and I want everything on one sketch. Sketch, create a sketch. I'll create it on that plane there. And this would work, uh, P for project, and I can start projecting onto this new sketch information or CAD data, sketch data from those other sketches. The problem is you can't do a window select. I can't select everything. And no way am I going to sit here uh, and pick all these little lined points and segments. So here's a hack around that. Undo this. E for extrude. I am going to go ahead and click the this profile, um, my islands. Okay, I think I got everything this time, and we'll just say point, it doesn't really matter, 0.01 inches. I just want to create a body. Click OK. So now I've got my body. I don't care that it's kind of the wrong proportion. It doesn't matter. What I can now do, sketch, create sketch. I wanted to pick the X, Y plane. And now, P for project, I can just click this. So right now, that's, there you go, that's one inches long. And I want this to be... I don't know, 30 inches. So modify scale entities this that 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 make sure you get everything. Oop. The coloring makes it pretty easy to see and I'm just gonna say point doesn't really matter. Scale factor of 30. Click OK. 
we can now see 28.92. That was good enough. We could fix that if we actually, here, let's fix it. If we wanted to create exactly 30, um, it was 28.921. So go to modify scale, pick everything again, and it'll be 30 divided by 28.92. One, which creates something greater than one, which is what I want to increase the size. Click OK. There we go, 30 inches. Save it. Model cam. Setup, it'll be plasma. Stock, we'll say fixed size box of 48 by 48 by 0.25. Uh, it doesn't matter what the scale is here. And we can say, let's say we wanted to put that in the bottom left corner. So what we can do is say offset it by 0 0.25, 0 0.25, oops. Ah. That was a, a lesson I normally emphasize, which is let's first um, create our setup that make, means if we hit escape by accident, we don't lose everything we just did. Now let's fix our stock. 48 by 48 by that. And we'll say it's offset and offset 0 0.25, 0 0.25. That puts it um, in the bottom left corner. And back on setup, our point would be this point here normally for plasma. Click OK. And it's pretty darn easy. Click on the water jet tab, even though it's called water jet, we're changed plasma. You need to figure out your curve. That's the only thing, you know, this doesn't tell you, but your book might tell you on what plasma machine you've got. Your feed rate, and then in ge geometry, we can just click. Um, again, you can't do a box select, which is, oops, um, which is frustrating. So I've got to go around I think you uh, and just like that you're good to go uh, we are going to do a different Wednesday widget on actually running a plasma job and posting out to the torch May software so if we've got that up you'll see a card right here otherwise folks hope you learned something hope you enjoyed take care see you next Friday and here she is off the plasma cutter gonna go drop her off uh, to the customer Pretty cool though, right? Text message photo to a 30-some you know, inch steel cut sign.